first things first, it's getting cold. Okay, so about 20 years ago, I stood in this very spot. I was in Paris for 24 hours uh, on a layover, and I came to the Dorsay, and it was closed because of a storm. But today, I'm going in. All right, first thing I want to talk about is shadows. Uh, there's a lot of examples of illuminated shadows in these paintings where the shadows are not super dark in value. Uh, they're fairly light in value. Like there's not a lot of contrast between the shadow and the light, but there's a lot of, um, but there is still a feeling of light and there's a lot of illumination in those shadows. Another thing I noticed is not a lot of contrast when painting faces, but I think having a very lightly suggested face actually works really well. Okay, so I really like painting people, but oftentimes I'm sort of stumped as to what uh, activities I want them to be doing. Um, and I really do like some of the figures in, in these paintings, uh, for example, like Manet's painting of a couple on the beach. Uh, but I do also like paintings with people working. Simple tasks, like manual tasks, even something like doing dishes. All right, a few notes on the Van Gogh room. Everybody was gathered around Starry Night. I think my favorite painting in the room was of the bedroom, of his bedroom in Arles. And then I also like this other painting. It was like a plein air painting. I've never seen it before. Um, I enjoyed seeing that, you know, something that was not the common Van Gogh that you see. All right, another thing I was thinking about is the pathway into the painting. I saw several paintings that I really liked the compositions of that had some sort of obstruction in the foreground preventing the eye from going in. At least that's what I felt. Like, if I'm composing a painting, I don't ever put anything in the foreground because I want the eye to be able to travel into the painting unobstructed. But my eyes were kind of opened on the subject because there's a couple paintings that have obstructions in the foreground and I felt that they really worked. Another painter that was interesting to me was Kaibot. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I had seen this, the floor scrapers before. My brother actually had a poster of it. I am definitely gonna look at more of his work in the future, kind of look it up online or whatever. All right, so one of my favorite paintings today is a painting of Paris rooftops. I really like the composition and um, also how there's like a really good sense of depth. Um, the buildings in the foreground, there's more contrast maybe more detail in the back, it tends to, um, the contrast tends to fade a bit. And um, anyway, I just think it's a great composition, very cool painting. I hope you enjoyed my little commentary here and my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will close with a little montage of some of my other favorite paintings. But as usual, thanks for hanging out guys. I will see you in the next video.